Welcome to Music Theory Grade 2. This is week 11, brought to you by To Enable. This week we'll be dealing with triads. Construction of primary triads. Let's begin. Triads. A chord is a group of not less than three notes played together. So a triad is a chord, and a chord is a group of not less than three notes played together. Not less than three notes played together. Triad chords are built in thirds. So we build these triad chords in thirds. And they are diatonically to the major or minor or any scale that you are building from. Scale degrees known as chord tones that make up a triad. So your chord tones are the notes that make up a triad. Your one, three, five. They make up a triad. One for tonic, three, mediant, five for dominant. Let's look at the construction of a triad. The first degree is been given to us, C, which is the first degree. Now we are counting in thirds, since a triad means three building in thirds. One, two, three, to find our third degree. Count in thirds again from your third degree to find your fifth degree. Let's count. One, two, three. There's the fifth degree. Now the first degree is the tonic. The third degree, we said it's the mediant. The fifth degree is the dominant. All these chord tones, they form the C major triad, as you can see. Construction of primary triads in a major key. Primary triads are built, or primary triads are the most important chords in the major key. They form a strong resolution sound of the major scale. For example, the tonic sounds like it wants to move to the subdominant. The subdominant sounds like it wants to resolve to the dominant. Lastly, the dominant sounds or wants to move back to the tonic. Regard the given root as the tonic of the scale. Try to find the third by counting three times. Your third is your median. From the root, you count three times. Now, from the median, identify the fifth scale degree which is the dominant uh, by counting three times, just as we mentioned uh, in this example here. So from the root, which will be given, you count three times to get your third scale degree. From your scale degree, third scale degree, which is your median, you count three times again to get your fifth degree. Primary triads will be built on tonic, subdominant, and dominant. Primary triads in a major scale. We use Roman numerals to label chords. So Roman numerals are used to label chords and also to identify the chord values whether it's a minor or major or dominant. identify chord values. Uppercase represents major. So we have the uppercase Roman numeral representing major. The lowercase for minor. Keys can be abbreviated e.g. C uppercase letter. It abbreviates C major. C lowercase letter abbreviates C minor. Some examiners do not use abbreviations but they rather write out the names in full. Roman numerals for major keys. Uppercase for major tonic. Uppercase 4 for subdominant. Uppercase 5 for dominant. All this the uppercase which means major. Then for minor it's lowercase 1 for tonic, lowercase 4 for subdominant, uppercase 5 for dominant. Our dominant in a harmonic minor scale is always a major. Why? 
because of the raised seventh degree, it causes our dominant to be a major. You will see in the following examples on the next page. Look at the major triads now. The construction, we have C, E, G, giving us the tonic, meaning this is the key of C major. Then the subdominant is built on F, which is the fourth degree. F, A, and C, subdominant. Then the dominant is built on G, G, B, D, giving us G major. The second key has one accidental, which is F sharp. Therefore, we're in the key of G, G, B, D, giving us the tonic. Now the subdominant is C, C for tonic, E for mediant, and G for dominant. C major triad. Dominant is D. Then uh, since it's a D major, we're going to have F sharp. It's affected by this accidental here. Then we have A, giving us the D major triad. The same applies also for this key that has two sharps. F sharp and C sharp giving us D major. D is our root, F sharp is our mediant, and A is our uh, dominant, giving us the tonic, which is D major. Subdominant is G major, G root, B mediant, and dominant is the D, giving us the subdominant G. The dominant is A, C sharp now, and E, giving us A major. The same applies for all other keys with sharp. We also use the same format or formula with the flats. Major keys that have flats. This is F. We have one flat, which is B flat. F is the tonic. A, mediant. C, dominant, giving us the tonic, F major. Subdominant, it's B flat. Build on. B flat, D as the median, and F as tonic. And the dominant, it will be the C major. C for tonic, E median, G subdominant. Same applies for all other major keys. Let's move on. Triad chords with or without key signatures. If a key signature is not placed at the beginning of the staff, put accidentals before notes. The key signature on this example is not present. An accidental is placed before notes. The accidental is placed before the notes. So if we can take a look at our triads, the first note is E. As the tonic, then we have a G sharp, G sharp as our median. Then we have B, giving us the E major triad. So we conclude that since the tonic is E, we're in the key of E. Then obviously the subdominant is built on the fourth degree, giving us A as the tonic, C sharp. Median and E, the dominant, giving us the A major triad. Then lastly, the dominant built on B. Then we have D sharp as the median. Then we have F sharp as our dominant. All these chord tones, they give us B major, the dominant, tonic, subdominant, and the dominant. All this is for key signatures. When key signatures are not placed at the beginning of the staff, we put accidentals before the notes. Third chords with key signatures. 
key signatures or if a key signature is provided at the beginning of the staff do not put accidentals before nodes we give you the same example but with key signatures at the beginning of the staff so this will be our tonic e major then a major our subdominant b major our dominant all these notes are affected by the key signature here the notes are affected by key signatures so put key signatures if necessary but when a key signature is provided at the beginning of the staff do not put key signatures in front before notes primary triads in a minor key in the harmonic minor scale the tonic subdominant and a dominant are represented by lowercase so the tonic subdominant the dominant are represented by lowercase roman numerals in a harmonic minor scale the raised seventh degree of the harmonic minor scale makes our dominant a major the raised seventh degree of the harmonic minor scale makes our dominant a major the third degree of the dominant is the raised seventh of the harmonic minor scale let's see examples below let's just jump to the dominant which is g major let's look at our key signature we're in the key of c minor sorry about that then first accidental first accidental is b flat e flat and a flat so this note here is b flat but now since we're in the key of harmonic minor the seventh degree must be raised to form a leading note hence a natural sign is used to cancel the b accidental placed at the beginning of the staff now forming the G major triad. We have G, we have B natural, and D giving us a major triad. Obviously, our tonic is C minor, C, E flat, and G. The flat three makes our tonic a minor chord. The subdominant, which is the fourth degree, F. The tonic root i mean then a flat as the median and c as our dominant giving us f minor then obviously lastly lastly is the g major as our dominant so our dominant in the harmonic minor scale is a major because of the raised seventh degree.